and don't over hire, don't hire too fast. Saying that, on the flip side, when we started out, um, we, me and Brad took no money out. Um, when we had maybe about three, maybe three or four grand of income, maybe four grand a month of income, yeah. we hired our first person, um, and they were um, fifteen hundred quid a month. So we were still banking two and a half k. Yeah. Okay. I'll tell you right now, I've got nothing to prove. Yeah. I was never built to sit around and ponder why things in my life weren't adding up. Responsibility gets put on me because when it's time to get serious, I'm stepping up now. So I'm on my way down to Distract to meet Peter Watson, um, have a conversation. It's been really helpful. Every time I've been running some sort of entrepreneurial project during my time at uni, um, and I've messaged him asking to meet up for some advice, uh, he's been more than more than helpful and gave me a lot of a lot of advice about business and about the sort of steps to take to get where I want to be. Um, so I'm meeting up with him today to sort of ask him a few questions about expanding and growing and scaling because obviously there's something that he had to do when he started Distract when he was at university. Um, so I'm just looking for some advice on that front. I'm really excited, really looking forward to it and uh, hopefully I'll get some good insights. That's called Distraction. distraction, distraction. That's how they get you with Distraction. distraction, distraction. They keep feeding you Distraction. distraction. That's how they get you with distractions. Mad distractions. Yo, this world's steady tripping, kid is getting me lost. Some people losing their mind. Yeah. The game plan you have to do when you start an agency <clears throat> is bank a lot of cash. Just yeah. bank it for a rainy day. Don't live fucking fancy. Just bank cash. Yeah, no, don't. Um, and don't over hire, don't hire too fast. Saying that, on the flip side, when we started out, um, we, me and Brad took no money out. Um, when we had maybe about three, maybe three or four grand of income, maybe four grand a month of income, yeah. we hired our first person. Um, and they were um, 1,500 quid a month. So we were still banking two and a half K. Yeah, okay. So you'd say, wait wait till it gets to, I don't know, like four. Wait till you know where you're at. Coming off the back of that meeting with Peter Watson and Distract, I learned a hell of a lot and it was great to share what I was doing with Happy Boy um, and speak about the initial stages of Distract when he was in a similar position to me. Um, obviously he started when he was at uni, I've started just after. But being young, setting up that business in the creative industry. So it was really good to hear from other people and I just wanted to emphasise the importance of meeting with business people. Just drop them a line, drop them something on LinkedIn, ask them to go for a coffee. It's the best thing that you can do. I know that there might be some people thinking that it's easier to email uh, but please get out your comfort zone, make it happen and go out there and just meet up for a coffee. I guarantee if you're offered to buy someone a coffee, they're more than happy to meet with you. But you can learn so much valuable information and it gives you the chance to step out of your business and sort of look down on it and look at it from an outside perspective and have that separate view because we can get caught up so much in our own businesses sometimes working in the business rather than working on it. So it provides a great opportunity to do that. I'll tell you right now I've got nothing to prove. Yeah. I was never built to sit around and ponder why things in my life when adding up. Responsibility gets put on me because when it's time to get serious.